Thank you for joining Real Estate SEO. This YouTube channel is used to talk about uh, search engine optimization for real estate. Tonight's topic is blogging, specifically keyword targeting within blogs, deciding when and what to blog about, and some creative ideas on, on blogging. This isn't going to be technical if you don't know how to tag your your blog or create it, in other words, write it, then this is not the tutorial for you. If, however, you understand how to write a blog, but maybe you're having trouble with uh, ideas or you're not 100% sure how to properly target keywords within that blog, then this is definitely a tutorial that you'd like to uh, sit through. What we're looking at is uh, a real estate website called Hilton and Highland. This is uh, a blog on Hilton and Highland. I thought it was a very good example of uh, keyword targeting for a very popular uh, search engine term, Los Angeles real estate. All right, so when you're blogging, keep in mind that Google looks at a couple of different types of text on the home page and then records them as keywords. So first of all, somewhere in your, your WordPress website or however you're blogging, there should be something that's going to be asking you what kind of keywords do you want to target. Okay, so keywords, tagging, these are common terminology, terminology that's related to your keyword targets. If you look here, I just clicked page source. I opened up the page source to the site. And what I'm looking for is this, meta name, and then description and keywords. All right, this is how B Google is reading this blog. There's only one keyword that's targeted in this particular blog post. It's Los Angeles real estate. In addition, you might notice that there are what are called anchor text links. We click on this and it goes to a page on the Hilton and Highland site, a static page that talks about Los Angeles real estate. Google reads these anchor text links as, okay, I understand that the keyword that you're targeting within this blog is Los Angeles real estate. What's more, it goes to the preceding page, reads what's called the H1 header, which is this title tag right here, and then it proceeds to look at keyword density and find out if this, these keywords are, are mentioned anywhere on this page. In this case, they are. So it's actually a really good example of keyword targeting within a blog you or anybody that owns a real estate blog can do the same thing. And if you notice, as we're, we're scrolling down this blog, you'll see that there's other anchor text here, uh, most likely directing back to the same page, but it's definitely targeting Los Angeles real estate. There's a couple of other keywords that are targeted in here. I'm not going to talk about them, um, but you can see that Los Angeles is mentioned over and over again. Now, how is it, how is it contextually referenced? What is the rest of the page about? Adventure, neighborhoods. So actually, this is a lifestyle piece on Los Angeles. It's very easy to target keywords within a lifestyle piece when it comes to blogging. So if you're a geo-specific real estate agent, for instance, Miami Beach or uh, Tucson, Arizona, these are cities that have their own lifestyle. Blogging about the lifestyle while anchor text and keywords within these lifestyle pieces is a rock solid way to get good keyword value out of your blog. Lifestyle is also really should give you a vast palette in which to paint your picture on blogs. Another thing that we love to do in the world of blogging and internet marketing in general is do best lists. It can be 10 best, 8 best, 7 best. People love to read lists. They love to, th to see what you think the 10 best things about Tucson or Los Angeles or Beverly Hills or whatever city it is that you're in. What are the 10 best things to you? They will probably, it will probably capture their attention and they will read through it. Another common or really uh, amazing way to get traffic back to a website for real estate sites in particular is to talk about landmarks or architects. Almost every major metropolitan city has some kind of historic district. Boston, Los Angeles, um, uh, like certain parts, almost every city in New England has certain historic places. Some of these places, like what you're seeing here, are, are actually in and of themselves, they get a lot of search traffic. 
making an article like this one huge to get traffic back to a website because you've got famous landmarks that are being mentioned within a within a blog you can see here as we did with the other the other blog that there are certain keywords that are being targeted within this blog and you can see down here what some other keywords were and if you wanted to you can click the right button go to view page source and you could go down to anything that says meta well most things that say meta are going to tell you at least a little bit what was being targeted so this is a description there doesn't seem to be any keywords here so actually it's probably just trying to keep this site number one for the term Beverly Hills real estate so these are a number of different like interesting ideas when it comes to the site but here's one thing that you won't hear very many other people talking about this idea is excellent for the Hilton and Highland website it may not be so good for you how do you know the reason I say that is that certain sites are far more authoritative to Google than others if you're working on a brand new website and you're you're just establishing your blog you might not want to do an article about 10 the 10 best architects in your area it's never going to get picked up by the search engines you're ne never going to get any credit for the landmarks so how do you know how valuable your site is let's say you have an older site but this is one of the first tutorials you're you're listening to how do you know well in another part of my YouTube channel you'll see something called account executive tools and it will tell you how to go find all these tools that you see up here in my toolbar it would also give you uh, an example of what I'm using them for and why I'm using them so let's say you pause this gone downloaded the tools and now you're back with this tutorial Hilton and Highland has a high domain authority and a decent page authority which means that just about anything that they blog about has a, a pretty good chance of getting ranked very very well in the search engines if you are lucky enough to have a very old website and you are are wise enough to transfer that website onto WordPress or some other platform where you can do blogging and put content out on there there on the web guess what you have a really amazing chance to do things like this where you are actually blogging about landmarks and maybe just maybe you might even get a chance to be number one for for landmarks which would be which would be fantastic so these are a couple of ideas if you if you want some more input about blogging I recommend that you leave a comment on my YouTube channel underneath this video I will be happy to come up with some more creative ideas about things you can blog about on your real estate website all right thank you very much for tuning in hope you got something uh, useful out of this see you on the flip side